Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Casey and I make videos on all things beauty and lifestyle. Today's video is going to be a mashup of Sephora haul, so beauty and skincare haul and handbags. One of my favorite topics to make videos on. It's been a while since I have talked about any handbags on my channel. So I'm gonna start with my Sephora haul first. I went to Sephora last Friday and kind of just prodded and poked around and picked up a couple of things so I figured I'd go ahead and share. So I was in the market for a new cleanser, specifically one that can remove makeup that I can keep in my shower. I have my Elemis cleansing balm that I will use at my sink, but on hair washing days I like to just remove my makeup while I'm in the shower. So you know, cleansing balm and shower just don't really mix. So things that are really important to me is I've been trying to be more mindful of the ingredients in my products. So I wanted to go with something that was more clean, uh, BPA free packaging, no parabens, phthalates, things like that. So I decided to go with some cleansers from Pharmacy. Pharmacy to me is a really good solid brand. It's a clean brand at Sephora. I get along really well with most of their products. So the cleanser for removing makeup and just cleansing the skin, I went with Clean B. It's their ultra gentle facial cleanser. I have used this and it does remove all of my makeup. It is a really nice cleanser. It has a mild scent. It, it gets the job done. It's a nice cleanser. I can remove all of my makeup with it. I can double cleanse with it if I want to, but I did get another cleanser to do my second cleanse with. But it just says an ultra gentle facial cleansing gel that washes away surface oil impurities, pollution residue, and makeup while nourishing skin with our proprietary honey blend and hyaluronic acid. I love anything with hyaluronic acid in it. I am all about moisturized, glowy, plump skin. So hyaluronic acid is a really good friend of mine. So yeah, this is really nice if you're looking for a cleanser with hyaluronic acid that has clean ingredients, that removes makeup and is gentle on the skin. Give the Pharmacy um, Clean B a try. Um, I decided to try another one of their cleansers um, while I was there. This is the Pharmacy Whipped Greens. It's their oil-free foaming cleanser with moringa and papaya. Um, this one is not meant for removing makeup, but I love a good double cleanse. And two, I take a shower most mornings after I work out, so I just need a cleanser to purify and cleanse my skin. So this is the Whipped Greens. It's a completely different formula, a much thicker formula. Smells so nice and refreshing. So this is really great to use as a morning cleanser in my opinion because of that. So it says an oil-free foaming cleanser that draws out dirt, oil, and impurities caused by pollution. This soap-free pH balanced formula helps clean pores, surface oil, and residue. Really nice cleanser so far. I love the scent. It's very refreshing. My skin feels clean. It doesn't feel stripped. So yeah, I've got my um, my Clean B for my first cleanse to remove, remove my makeup and then the Whipped Greens to cleanse my skin um, the second go around. So I really like those. Pharmacy has really great products. I really, really enjoy that line. The next three products that I picked up are all makeup. So you guys know if you watched my last video, I recently purchased the new Hourglass um, ambient lighting palette for holiday and it is the elephant package or the elephant palette but I went a step further and customized mine to have the tiger packaging but when you're shopping at Sephora it's the elephant palette color story. Um, I bought that and the new Natasha Denona My Dream eyeshadow palette which I am wearing today and it is my new favorite palette like reignited my love for eyeshadows. But speaking of the My Dream collection, I decided to pick up her cheek palette. I um, really didn't have this on my radar just because I have quite a few cheek palettes and I love them. They're mainly from Hourglass, but Hourglass just does the dang thing when it comes to cheek palettes. But I really wanted to give this one a go. The colors in it are stunning so beautiful and right up my alley for fall. Both of the powder products are her cream to powder formula and then you have a cream product in the center. So her blush is stunning. It is a gorgeous neutral color, perfect for fall and winter. And then you have the cream highlight as your base and then the cream to powder highlight to finish off. So I have all of the cheek products on today. What I did is 
when I applied my foundation and concealer, I went in with my cream bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury, and then I applied the cream highlighter. I really like the formula of this. It works best, in my opinion, when you use your finger. And I just tapped it on my cheekbones and um, on my nose, and then I set with my Laura Mercier powder. Um, and then I went in with my cream to powder products. So the blush is stunning, like I said. And then the highlighter is very glowy as well. I don't find it to be too intense. I love the tone, the color. This is a winner in my opinion. The first day that I used it, I wasn't really trying too hard to do my makeup. I just needed to put my makeup on really quick. So it wasn't the best first impression because I wasn't really trying. But today, oh my goodness, stunning, absolutely gorgeous. The formula is top notch. Um, this is a wonderful cheek palette if you're in the market for one or if you just want a new one. It is, it's really good. The next thing that I purchased is a new concealer. Did not need a new concealer, but I have been so curious about this one. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. I got mine in the shade 2.7N. The name of it is Coconut Flakes. Um, they have a really good color range in my opinion and Sometimes when a line of concealers or foundations has a lot of colors to choose from, it can be difficult to pick the best one for you because a lot of them could work. Um, but I went with Coconut Flakes and it's a great color match for me. I was in store when I got this, so I swatched my Hourglass concealer in the shade Fawn and this one matched up the closest to it and I that's how I decided to pick my color because the Fawn shade from Hourglass is a really great color for me. I thought that this was going to be similar to the Born This Way concealer, and it is much more lightweight than I was expecting. This has amazing coverage, but it's a lot more lightweight than I was expecting, and I love that about it. Um, it's a really good concealer. It has great coverage like the Too Faced, like the Hourglass, but it's lighter, it's a more lightweight than both of those concealers. So if you're looking for a medium to full coverage concealer, but you want one that's lightweight, this is a really great one to try and to go for. It wears really well. It looks good on the skin. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I really don't. I'm gonna continue to use it, and I'm really glad that I picked it up. This next product was not on my radar at all but it has become my new favorite lip liner. So this is the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment Precision Lip Crayon. I don't have any of his lip liners or I hadn't ever tried them before. And it looked like he came out with four new shades. So the shade that I went with is She's Proud. It is my personal perfect nude shade. Sometimes nudes can be too dark and too brown. This has a brown beige undertone, but it's like a mid-tone brown. It's not too dark, it's not too light. I have it on right now with my favorite um, lipstick of the moment. It is the Make It By Mario um, Moisture Glow in the shade Bare Glow. It is my favorite lipstick, lip gloss, lip balm, what have you, because it's kind of like all three of those in one. This lip liner is I'm so happy that I got it. Like, I love a good lip liner. You don't roll it up and you don't sharpen it, you click it up. And the point itself, it's slanted, so it really defines your lips and kind of helps to shade at the same time when you're lining. The tip of it is so interesting, and I really do love it, and the color is, it is the perfect nude shade for me. I really love the slanted tip. I don't have any lip liners that have a slanted applicator like that, but it is so nice for lining and defining your lips and adding a little bit of shade and dimension. I guess that's why it's a major dimension lip pencil. Like it's, it is awesome. So definitely check out Makeup by Mario, <laughs> Makeup by Mario, Patrick Taw's lip pencils. They, this one is phenom. Love the formula, love the color, love the longevity and the wear time. It's amazing. And I know I've said that about all the products that I hauled, but this was a good haul. I really love everything. I don't have anything bad to say about anything that I bought. All so good. So this next thing that I wanna share, I am so stoked about and just so grateful. Um, it is something 
from PR and I mean, who am I getting PR? Like it's just so great. But I get emails from companies a lot um, asking if they can send me things for review half the time, actually not half the time, almost always it's junk and I am like, no thank you or I'm not interested. Like I wouldn't be interested in receiving any of the things that I get emailed about and I know y'all wouldn't either. But when a rep from Ole Henriksen asked if I would be interested in joining their PR list, I was like, oh my God, I hit the jackpot. I'm so excited to share my first product in PR from Ole Henriksen. It's one of their brand new products. Um, thank you, Ole Henriksen, for sending me this. I am so thankful and grateful for this. So, their new product is a moisturizer. It is the Ole Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Not gonna lie, when I saw Peptide Moisturizer, I immediately thought of the Skin Fix Moisturizer that I tried that I it wasn't a bad moisturizer, it just wasn't my favorite. And to be quite honest, I am extremely picky when it comes to moisturizers. The Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream and the Charlotte Tilbury um, moisturizers are my holy grails and it is really hard to beat those two in my opinion. So I was kind of weary and I was like, oh no, like I'm so picky when it comes to moisturizers. I used this for the first time last night and you guys, it really is so good. It is a more like a gel cream formula. It's not quite a gel and it's not quite a cream. It's like when gel and cream have a baby. It is really thick, so a little bit does go a really long way. It is so hydrating and feels so good and so cooling on the skin and like those are some of my biggest things. Like I want something that is super moisturizing, super hydrating. My skin this morning when I woke up, I really did notice a difference. My skin was soft. It was plump and firm and hydrated, but not in an oily way. You know, sometimes you'll do your skincare routine and you'll wake up in the morning and you'll feel kind of oily. <laughs> it was not that kind of glow. It was just seriously pure hydration. I am so impressed with this and I am so picky when it comes to face moisturizers but it really is so silky, so smooth. I have it on today under my makeup, so I cannot tell you for certain how it wears under makeup. I will definitely keep you updated in my next video how it wore under makeup, but for nighttime, it was perfection. Phenomenal, so good. I have not found a moisturizer that is up to par with the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream and the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Like when I say I'm picky and I have extremely high standards for moisturizers, like I am not playing around. That is on par and it is the first moisturizer that has been on par with those two ever for me. So, um, so smooth, so silky. If you're looking for something that is going to plump and hydrate and soften your skin, definitely give that one a try. It is phenomenal. Now let's talk handbags. I'm gonna share my newest handbag with you guys and it's from a company that I have never purchased from before. I have been loving bum bags. Now when the bum bags started making a comeback like a year or two ago, I wasn't into it but it really grew on me. I have the Lululemon bum bag and it is just so practical, so easy, so just like, I love it, I love it. I'm a very busy mom. My children are in multiple activities and we are gone every afternoon, going from practices to games to you name it, we're doing it. So I wanted a belt bag that was nicer than the Lululemon. The Lululemon is like a little cloth, um, very casual, more athletic style bum bag. And I wanted one that was more elevated, that was more luxury. Now I, absolutely love the Louis Vuitton bum bags, the monogram canvas and the black new wave, but they are so extremely expensive. I'm just not interested in spending that much on a bum bag. So when I saw the brand Mandarin on Instagram, they have so many different bum bags and bum bag styles to choose from. I just instantly clicked with it and just was so drawn to it, thought that they were so chic. And the price point is amazing. They're all under 200 bucks. And to some that may be a lot, but compared to spending $3,000 on one on the pre-loved market, because Louis Vuitton doesn't make the bum bags anymore. They're all discontinued. So 
they're all very, very expensive between three and $4,000. So $200 compared to that is nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you the one that I got. So I got the black woven atlas. It's a hundred percent leather. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. The hardest part for me was choosing the color. So they have black, they have like a chestnut brown, and then they have a really light beige color. I didn't really need a brown bag because all of my Louis are brown with a little bit of black accent. I was really in the market for a solid black bag. And this one just is perfect for me. I absolutely love it. I, you know, I was nervous about purchasing one because I was like, you know, seeing these bags on Instagram and they looked great, but you never really know, you know, when you're ordering from a company on Instagram, you never really know what the quality is going to be like, but it is so nice. I have gotten compliments on it already and I've just had it for a few days. It is so comfortable to wear. Um, there's so many notches so you can wear it as tight to the body as you want or as loose as you want to the body. It is awesome. It is very roomy. It fits quite a bit. I don't have a ton in here because I don't need to carry a lot, but I've got my wallet. I've got my keys. I've got my sunnies. Um, I don't have my AirPods in here, but I keep my AirPods in here. I've got the, the Patrick Ta. This is their lip plumping gloss. Phenomenal, by the way. Um, and then my phone can fit in here, but also it's got a zipper on the back that fits my phone and it fits in this pocket with a loopy case. I know I, I, I think that that is important information because the loopy cases are, you know, they're kind of big with that little loop on the back. Sometimes you can't fit them into little pockets, but um, this is a phenomenal bag. I just love being hands-free with it. I love that it's a little bit more elevated. I can wear it you know, when I have a casual outfit or I can dress it up, it is so nice. It is definitely going to get so much wear for me in the fall and winter. I love a good crossbody bag and I am a crossbody girl at heart. I love being hands-free, but this takes hands-free to a whole nother level. Um, especially running errands throughout the day, running from practice to practice, game to game, um, sitting, you know, in bleachers or sitting in a lawn chair at Kaysen's baseball games. It's, it's just so nice to be able to have a really nice handbag, but being able to just sit down and keep wearing it and not having to set it down on anywhere or, you know, it's just so, so nice. So if you've been into the bum bags and you want a really nice one, but you don't want to spend a ton of money, definitely check out Mandarin. They have so many to choose from. They have different styles, different sizes. They have the Atlas in just solid, smooth leather if you're not into the woven. Um, I just, I'm so impressed. So I'm so glad I took the risk and ripped the bandaid off and ordered because it is really, really amazing quality. It's a beautiful bag and I have only wanted to wear this since I got it. So um, yeah, if you are in the market for a bum bag, definitely check out Mandarin. I don't think you'll be disappointed. We're not done talking about handbags. I am selling one of my Louis. I sold it to Fashion File. I'm actually going to Neiman's after this to drop it off so that they can mail it off. But I decided to sell the on the go. I did purchase it from Fashion File. Um, this is a gorgeous bag. And it, honestly, it's more like it looks more like a luggage piece than anything, but I've traveled with it a few times and it is just so heavy. Um, I absolutely love it. It is a stunning bag, but it is heavy. And I know I mentioned it in my review video of it, that it was heavier than the Neverfulls. And after traveling with it a few times, I was just like, I can't do this. Like it, it's so heavy and it's so structured that you can't really fit it under airplane seats. You can't really even fit it on the floorboard of your car because it like beats up against the dash and you can't mash it down like it never full. Um, so yeah, I decided instead of keeping it, I'm just going to sell it to Fashion File and call it a day. But also what really sealed the deal for selling it was another bag that I got that is a 100% dupe but it's not as stiff and structured and it's just easier to travel with. It's also way more affordable but it still has a luxury feel to it. It is this bag from Leatherology. Exact same size. Exact same size. This one um, from Leatherology has 
taller handles, but it just doesn't have the long shoulder straps. But since this is a longer strap, you can carry it on your shoulder if you need to. Also love that you can get it monogrammed. This monogramming is called the Trapunto, I believe, on the Leatherology site. Um, I went ahead and got all three of my initials. You can do two initials. They also have like little um, gold heat stamped options for you or painted options. But the Trapunto is just on a whole nother level. And I have their, their extra large train case that I also got the monogram on. And it's the same color as this one. So it is like the perfect travel duo. If you've liked the idea of the on the go, but you don't want to spend that much money, you've got to check out this one. It's also got feet on the bottom. It is just so amazing. If you've never heard of Leatherology, you definitely need to check out their site. You cannot beat the price point of Leatherology for the quality that you get from their pieces. Um, and they're just so special. The monogramming is just on another level. I absolutely love it. So while I was unsure of whether or not I wanted to sell the on the go, when I got this bag, it really sealed the deal for me on, yes, girl, you need to sell the on the go because this one is just so much better in my opinion and way more affordable than the on the go from Louis Vuitton. I got this back in the springtime. So I've had this for a long time, but I have not mentioned it to you guys, um, but it is phenom phenomenal. Okay guys. That is everything that I wanted to share with you for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit of makeup, a little bit of luxury, a little bit of handbags, all my favorite things. So um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.